Alright guys, welcome back to another video, Survival HQ here. So today I've got a brand new multi-tool to review. This is a first impressions, open the box type review. I just got it yesterday from my local mech store. This is the Victorinox Explorer. I paid $65 for the tool. It's got 16 tools in this multi-tool. So let's talk a little bit about the look first and foremost. Uh, nice as always, good scales. Good machining, nice look. Good quality as always. Can't complain with that. Uh, I do have an issue with some of the machining on some of the tools, which I'll get into uh, in a second. So let's talk about the length of this tool. This tool closed is 9.1 centimeters. <coughs> Excuse me. And it weighs 119 grams, so just over four ounces. Right around four ounces. Tools made of all stainless steel minus the scales. So let's open it up here and get into it and we'll talk about the tools so as I open up all, all the tools on this side as it is new they're still a little stiff in here believe it or not it's not hard to believe it's the way it is with most tools all right so let's talk about the Two blades that come with this tool. I'll fold them out. You have this secondary blade and the primary blade. Secondary blade, 1.15 inches long. Razor sharp, stainless steel quality. Happy with the secondary blade. It's a nice little small mini blade you can use it for. Very useful. I always like the two blades on a medium size Victorinox tool. Primary blade is nice. Blade length, 6.9 centimeters. Razor sharp, good quality as always. You never can complain with this, uh, these blades on these Victorinox. Always good quality. So let's close the blades up. Let's talk about the standard tools. You have a standard can opener right here. Along with a small flat on the end right there. You have a large flat here as well. Along with a bottle opener here. And a wire stripper, as you can see, tucked in there as well. Again, standard Victorinox tool. You have a medium-sized Phillips head to large-sized Phillips head uh, with a nice little you know, neck on this part of the tool. Uh, I would have preferred, now looking at it, I would have preferred a smaller pointed Phillips head. I mean, this is a medium size. We'll see. How often I use the medium versus the standard small. I mean, most people like the standard uh, small size Phillips head. But again, we'll see on that. <coughs> now the two unique tools. One is a bifocal. Uh, a lens that you're able to, A, use to read uh, or to see things up closely. Uh, magnification. Uh, or you can use it, as you can see, to focus and potentially use it to light a fire if required. So that's interesting. I like the, uh, I mean, you have a uh, source of fire on your multi-tool, a lens that can create heat if it's sunny. So that I like, it's one of the reasons why I bought the tool. The other thing is the medium to large size scissors. Now I just, like I said, just got this tool yesterday, but I do like the scissors. I mean, it's a, a large cutting surface uh, good quality spring. I cannot complain. I like it. As you can see, I just prick myself. Razor sharp. Uh, good quality set of scissors. It does have a key uh, keychain loop here. Tool's a little heavy. I mean, you're talking, uh, again, 119 grams. It's a little heavy to be carried on your keychain. I mean, this would be your keychain. So that'll never get used in my mind. On the back side, you have a corkscrew. Good quality. Victorinox corkscrew. Very sharp, very pointy. I like it. You have a the mystery Victorinox hook that I'm not really sure its purpose. I mean, you can use it to hook and pull something. You can suspend your multi-tool. But uh, as we all laugh in the uh, reviewing world, this hook is kind of a little bit of a comic relief. Nobody really understands its point, but it's there. <laughs> now let's get to the one tool as I open a drawer here. 
that I struggled to get open. So I will have to use, for now, a other knife here to open it up because there we go. And it is the all or punch. The all or punch. You'll see here, in here, it's uh, it rides a little low. And as it is now, it's brand new, yes. But it is a little hard to get it out of there using my edge of my finger now. So I'm not sure the machining for this one tool, but it's it's snug. Let's hope it loosens up and I have a lot easier time. But as it stands now, it's pretty hard to get my nail in there and get it out. So machining for this one tool on this one section of the uh, multi-tool. Don't think I'm impressed with it on that aspect. So anyways, get to the actual point of the awl. Yeah, I like the awl of the punch. It's very sharp. <coughs> one of my favorite tools on any multi-tool. So multi-use, so multi-facet. Uh, it's great. Love me the all of the punch. And the last two tools are the Victorinox toothpick, which you see built right into the scales. Fantastic, hidden, you don't even notice it. And the Victorinox tweezers. Gotta like it. Very useful. These tweezers are actually quite good quality. Get a splinter or need to pick something up. There you go. They hide in the handle scale. So there's your Victorinox Explorer. 16 tools, $65. Just got mine. I'm going to use it for a little while longer. A few weeks to see if this uh, loosens up here or if I uh, need to uh, exchange it and pick up a uh, maybe a little bit better machined tool. We'll see. That'll be a to be determined on that end. But anyways, I like the tool. Like the magnifying glass, like the scissors, like both blades, like the price, like the size, like the weight, everything. It's a good little tool, the Explorer. Definitely use it outdoors. It's uh, quite handy. Anyways, guys, please, thank you very much. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel uh, and share my videos. And as always, I'll be back again, guys, as soon as I can with another video. Take care.